Hey guys, so many people have asked me about this image and how I edited it. That's just such a weird word. Edited it. I did it. I did it. it. <laughs> Anyways, you know what I'm trying to say. So, here's the before and here's the after. Before, after. Okay, before. So, I always use the small one for a base. Well, I usually use it. I use small, I use rose, I don't really use wild, unless it's wild nine, because you know, wild nine is, whew, I love it. Okay, so small one, and then I'm going to bump up my white balance, I think I use cloudy, maybe not, she, she looks too orangey. I can't remember. Okay, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do. Let's meet in the middle. Seven thousand. Okay. Now I'm gonna increase the exposure a tad bit. Then I'm gonna go down and take off the grain. Grain, grain, grain. Some images I like grain. Sometimes I don't. I'm going to increase the contrast and the clarity. Then I'm going to go right here and I'm going to take off a little bit of the matte. And then that looks pretty good. So here's the before and after. Then I'm going to take it into Photoshop to come up, to finish it. All right, my actions are over here, and we're gonna use those in a second. But first, I'm going to go to my adjustments, get a curves layer, just click it, and then I'm going to bump up the midtones. So I'm going to get the middle, bump it up a little bit, oops, delete this, just a little bit, okay, but I like how the background is darker and he's like, I like the background, so I'm just going to paint with black, right, because curves is white, I'm going to paint with Actually, no. I'm going to inverse it. So, Command I. So, the everything's going to be the same. It's like I didn't even make the curves layer. But, I'm going to paint with white to reveal it. And I'm just going to do his face. His little body. Isn't he so cute? Oh my god, look at him. I could eat his little cheeks. I do. Daily. I eat his cheeks. Okay. So, as you can see, just brighten it up a little bit. Maybe I'll take down the highlights. See, the highlights are over here. The shadows are here. Dark, light. I'm going to take them down a little bit. Okay. Now I'm going to flatten this layer. And... This is Pro Retouch 2 by Totally Rad. Yeah. Or Pro Retouch 2.0. And I love, love, love. I have portraiture, but I really love this skin action. Just hit continue. And it's going to make me a brush. Make me a layer. And then I'm going to paint it with white to get rid of these little you know, skin imperfections, I guess, even though there's nothing imperfect about him. Aww. So then I'm going to paint, 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 paint. I'm not going to be too dramatic with this, but cleans it up. And you got a little flaky boogers that I'm going to take care of. Now look, if you go like this, it's going to be, you know, that doesn't look natural. So, 
I'm gonna paint with black. Paint with white. I'm gonna make it smaller. There we go. I I always want his you know, I don't want his nose to look funny, so bring it back. Okay, so before, after, dang, that made a huge difference. Huh? Maybe it'll reduce a little bit. It's kind of too smooth. Okay, now flatten it. I'm gonna go in with Command J. I'm gonna make a duplicate layer. You can even go to uh, right click it, duplicate right layer. We use the patch tool. And I'm going to circle this and then drag it to a part that I want, you know, that's the color that I want it to match. But don't forget when you do this, if it, this is selected, anything you do, it will show up in here. You know, like you can paint with orange. Okay, and it'll only show up in here. It took me forever to figure out that out when I first started. All right, so go up to here, deselect. Ah! And undo. Okay. Okay. Flatten it. Command J. Let's do it again. Deselect. Now, some people might want to, you know, lighten this area up, but I like his, you know, the little contrast on his cheeks. Okay, so I'm going to deselect. Now I'm going to get my spot healing tool and get rid of his little flaky boogers. And a little spot right here. That's it. I'm trying to get this spot off my computer screen, which is nothing. Make sure your computer screen's clean, people. All right. That's good. All right. Oh, here's a few things. I don't know what he had on his face. Some kind of sugar. Sure. All right. So that looks good to me. And now I want to reduce the contrast on his face a little bit because his eyes are kind of like too dark for me. So I'm going to decrease it. But when I do that, the whole image does, you know, and I like the dark background. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to inverse it, command I, and I'm just going to paint the, with the brush to get it off his face. Oh, make sure it's white. So you can see those pretty blues. Oh my gosh. Look at his little teeth. Cracks me up. So you guys can see. Makes a huge difference. Maybe that was too much. You can always mess around, decrease it, do what you gotta do. But this is how I edited it. Edited it, edited it, edited it. So, before, here I'll save it. Save as, let's do, I don't know how many. Let's see. Like, the 10th time I edited it. So, save. Okay. And then it brings it back into here. So, that was like the sixth time. Okay. Here's the finished product. Here's what happened in Lightroom. Like our Lightroom edits. And here's 
import. This is what it looked like straight on the camera. Now you can see the background's blurry. You know, it's got that good blur bokeh. I mean, I guess it's not bokeh, but it's got that good um, separation. I shot this with a 105 at 1 1.4 and my ISO was 200. It was like cloudy that day. It was perfect overcast and I faced him towards the sun. You can kind of see where the sun was and it's just good separation between the background and him and that's what made it like that's what made him pop so much. So here's the before. Here's what it looked like out of Photoshop and here's after Photoshop and that's it. There's my cute little baby Miles. Okay. If you guys have any questions, let me know. And I'll be sure to answer them. Thank you.